Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my newest um, makeup tutorial. No, it's not on this look. Unfortunately, this was done a different day. Um, however, I do have an awesome look for you guys. Ignore my hair in this video because it's a little ratchet. Uh, it's actually pretty flat today. Um, anyway, so, so starting off, what I'm doing it, is, is I'm tuned using for my two hey, foundations. Bye. Um, I believe that the ones that I just used is the Color Clean um, by, like, Maybelline. And then the second one you saw was my BB Cream by Avon. <clears throat> so, mixing those together, the parts that I use are, like, a 3 to 1 ratio just to give me a little bit of darkness to my skin, but still have it fairly close. So, we're going to rub this in all over our face, as you can see during my video. Um, make sure that you get areas like in the crease of the nose, underneath the eye. Um, I like to rub it into like the top of where my hairline is, um, just to make sure that it looks very natural. And right there behind the ear, that is a big spot that a lot of women tend to miss. And when it comes to using your foundation, unless you have it like marked to a T, you know, Blending in your foundations all throughout your neck and um, your skin, that's very important. That way you just don't have weird cutoff lines. Um, and all I'm really doing right now is just tapping to make sure no more uh, fingerprints are left or like streak marks are left in my face. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is grab our pressed powder. Um, well, no, not pressed. This one is actually loose. I have no idea who the maker is, unfortunately, because um, I've just been using the same thing forever. And so we're just going to pat this, or pat this around our face. This is going to give us a matte finish. I prefer to use loose powder over the pressed powder, just because I like the even, the application better. Um, However, it doesn't, I mean, you can use whatever kind of powder and foundation that you prefer at home. And now, I actually deleted one of the videos uh, before, which is why I have white eyeshadow on. I just didn't want to go find all those videos again. So, um, anyways, we're taking, we're going to do our white underneath the brow bone and then in the corners of the eyes. And now we're going to take our gold. Um, other colors that work well with this are like oranges, browns, pretty much any color you can go with this. But this is just, I don't know what that face is, uh, but this is just a gold that I got from Sally's. It was like 99 cents. And we're just going to slide it on there. And now I'm doing it underneath our eye, um, the lower lash line. This one is just a dark brown. Um, I don't like to use the applicator with this one, um, and I just use my hands to apply my eyeshadow. I like to cake a little bit of it on the, on the corners of my eyes, and then just make sweeping motions forward to blend it. Um, and it blends pretty well when I use my hands like that. I just think of it like a windshield wiper as far as our application is concerned. And also apply some on the lower lash lid, or the lash line also. And as you can see, I have some fallout, and I'm just taking my brush and I'm sweeping it over. So I'm gonna take the same exact powder that we used and I'm just gonna contour my face with it I'm sorry I don't have like all these different Mac um, shadows and stuff for you guys to be taking notes and purchasing I believe in buying things cheap and that's what my stuff is so to contour we're gonna do the lower parts of our cheekbones and just the side sweeping the sides of our of our nose that's just gonna give it more definition and for me, I have big cheeks, and I I actually like to bring my cheeks out more, but just a little more defined. 
And so that's what we're doing right through there and casting a nice little shadow where our neckline is. And this is a bright red uh, blush. And we're just going to do this in a diagonal form. This one's by NYX, I think, the blush is. And now I'm just lining my eye my eyeliner. Sorry, guys, I cannot speak. Um, this particular eyeliner is a cream eyeliner by Maybelline. It's the 24-hour like long wear eyeliner. I love that stuff. It seems to be the only mask or eyeliner that I can use that doesn't give me like raccoon eyes by the end of the day. And of course, just doing our lashes. I was using CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. I actually like the new, I think it's L'Oreal Manga. That stuff works way better, but I couldn't find it. And I'm just going over my eyebrows because the bottom half of my hair is black. And I like it. Putting on a little bit of a gloss. And now I'm doing strip eyelashes. I enjoy the strip lashes. They're super easy to apply. I think I got these at Sally's. For like five, maybe I was like, no, these are $8. Those are eight. And that's all it takes to do my eyelashes. If you enjoyed that. you guys if you enjoyed that video please click the like button right down here somewhere actually i think it's like anyways or maybe it's the other way i don't know subscribe hit that subscribe button it only takes a second of your time and if you have like other kind of styles you want to see like color schemes or you know whatever i don't care just let me know what is it that you want to see so anywho that's my videos for today, and see you later. Bye.